everyone, it's Rani. Welcome to this DIY home decor ideas for Christmas. We're going to be making three jar ideas to decorate or just to give as gifts. So for this three ideas, we're going to be using one of these in jars. This is the kind that I used. I'm obsessed with the thing and I saved like all of the jars so I could just um, reuse them to, you know, decorate around my house because I like the size of them. So I'm just going to first remove the lid. And once you have done that, let's move on and start the fun. First idea kind of like reminds me of a rustic jar, but in a holiday way. So I'm just going to call this the plate jar. And it's pretty simple and it's actually really cute. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing, and I'm actually going to be working on the top of it, I'm just going to take a piece of fabric of this plate fabric that I have. And I'm just going to measure how much I need of that. Then I'm going to just glue this with my hot glue gun to the top of my jar, obviously with my lid in there. And I'm just going to go all the way around, making sure everything is just stuck in there. Once I have done that, I'm just going to take this uh, rope ribbon and I'm just going to measure how much I'm going to be using of that one. This is going to be just in there for decoration mostly. I don't want it to go super tight, I just want it to be there. This kind of like rope, the more you like work with them, they tend to just separate those two pieces. So I figured I should do something with them before it's too late and the whole thing is just separated. I'm just going to take these two pieces of the same like ribbon, but I cut it those two pieces and I'm just going to you know be using my hot glue gun to just wrap those two pieces around the edges of the ribbon and besides I think it looks pretty cute I'm just going to secure my ribbon I keep on saying the ribbon but the, probably this is more like a rope so I'm just going to refer it from now on as rope I'm just going to secure it you know place it around my plate and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun you know to just secure the whole thing and I'm placing one end on top of the other one so it stays secure as far as for my piece of fabric though i'm just going to doing this thing i don't really know the name of it but this kind of fabric is pretty easy to just loosen up the i guess the threads and it forms a pretty cool effect in there so just keep on doing this until you're happy with how it looks and i think this gives it you know a pretty cool uh, effect so once i have done that i'm just going to go ahead and fill it with some ornaments just because I want this to be as a home decor but you can use this as anything and everything else just like gifts or you know put candy on them just anything that you want just whatever you need it for just go ahead and fill it up with so this is the sign number one and let's move on now to sign number two which is a simple but effective Christmas Santa's jar the first thing that I'm going to be using is working with my uh, the belt and the buckle itself. So I'm just going to be using a cardboard piece and I'm just going to pretty much sketch my buckle. So once I had like the main sketch, I decided to go with the ruler and just make the lines, you know, better. So I'm just going to then use my cutters and I'm just going to cut. Be careful because those things are pretty dangerous and they tend to cut. And then I'm just going to be taking my gold paint and my brush and I'm just going to paint my buckle and I'm working over a piece of parchment paper in here and then I decided to use the same paint and paint the lid all the way around on the top so once you have done that you can take a piece of fabric as I did here piece of black fabric or you can use a really thick ribbon it's pretty much up to you but I'm just going to cut how much I need I'm just filling it with some bars that I eat all the time. Fill it with, you know, anything and everything again. It's pretty much up to you. You can use it as a gift, Christmas candies, or just 
you know, anything that you need, even brushes for makeup, whatever you need. And that's it for the second idea. I actually got this idea last year from the internet. I just wanted to give it a try and finally this year I'm doing it. And the third and final idea is pretty simple and it's a snowman jar. Pretty, pretty easy and kind of like self-explanatory. But I'm just going to be taking one of these papers that have like cut it round uh, labels that you can just, you know, stick to, I guess, products or things like that. So I'm just going to paint a few of them well, two of them in orange and then a lot of them in black. And I'm using just like regular markers, black and orange markers. Just make sure you paint a bunch of black uh, round labels because we're going to be using a ton of those. I painted like in total three sheets of those ones. But I'm going to be doing the nose, which originally is supposed to be like a carrot. So I'm just going to follow the, the shape of a carrot and I'm just going to, uh, you know, stick one level on top of the other one and I'm just going to cut it on the shape of a carrot. Then I'm going to just stick the whole thing in, then my eyes just pretty much two dots in there and then my mouth which is pretty self-explanatory and then because and since this is a snowman I just wanted to simulate it was snowing all around him so I just um, you know stack a bunch of white labels then to the lid I just tried you know gluing some fabric of that black fabric that I used before and it didn't stick then I tried to paint with some black acrylic paint and it was just not working for me so I decided to paint in black a few of these labels in black again and I'm just going to attach them or just add them to the lid so I just complete this one and this is it for this one again you can you know fill them with whatever you want I'm using my bars again but yeah this is a really you know f affordable and easy way to make a snowman in a jar and i just wanted to share with you this idea and this is actually pretty much it for this video i just wanted to share this christmas ideas to decorate your house to give us gifts or just to use them as containers or storage so hopefully you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye guys